What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Colony Survival. My name is Splattercat and I put in a little bit of work on the cathedral before we started doing stuff. Oops, I knocked out one of my walls over here. I was like, that doesn't look symmetrical. I thought it was a support structure. Never mind, it's not a support structure. I mean, it is a support structure kind of in medieval life if you wanted to think about it like metaphorically. But I added, basically I fixed everything about it. It took me a while, but I, I fixed it was asymmetrical and I fixed it. And so now it's got kind of what you want to have when you've got like a church is you want to have the front archway, right? But if you go straight from that to the roof, it makes it look weird because churches tend to have spires, right? And so we're going to put up two fake spires to the left and the right of that to make it look a little bit better. I was kind of thinking about like what designates like a church in my mind, like what makes a church look like a church. And it's got to have that. And so now all we need to do, today's episode is largely going to be construction because there's not much else to do in this game aside from build stuff. But I've already farmed out the materials and everything that it's going to take for us to hang out for a little while and finish off the church. The wizard's tower requires significant renovation before I'm going to be able to figure that out, so... I apologize, but that's just the way she goes sometimes, Rick. That's just the way she goes. Uh, that's going to be good. We want to put the capstones on this because we want that nice reinforced wood look with lots of, like, mahogany and everything else making it look all nice. What I know about mahogany is that it hogs a lot of knees. That's what it does is it wants your knee and it wants to hog it, like right now. We'll take that over here. There we go. Looks a little bit better. And so now we've got the framework where we can start laying in roof. But the roof is going to be kind of challenging because I don't know exactly what I want to do with the top of the spires just yet. What I was thinking is if I take you back around to the front here so that you can have a look at it, don't think that'll hurt me. So what I wanted to have is to have a secondary layer. So both of those pillars right there on each side are going to come up to yet another point that gives it kind of a layered cake feeling to it almost. But like I know I'm going to mess this up. Like It's going to be complicated to do this and I know I'm going to mess it up. It's going to take me like hours to finish. So we'll start it here today, but if I end up like messing it up and not doing it right, what I'll do is I'll fix it off camera like I did. We saw the issue with the church the last time we played, and I'll fix it like that when I have to. And so what I'm thinking is that what we'll need to do is I'll need to drop over to here, and we'll take that final support right That Nope, that's not the one that I wanted. Actually, is that? I think that's the one that I want right there. We'll drop that in right there. And really what this is going to do is hopefully come across like so. We will more than likely do the same thing. And yes, it is asymmetrical. I've just made it look symmetrical by fiddling with it. In case you're wondering what happened right there. Because we need this to come across right here. So that it'll actually look symmetrical. And that's all my bad, because the two sides are actually not laid out properly. But we should be able to hide the internals of it without rebuilding the entire building and still manage to make it look somewhat acceptable. So we'll do here this archer's watching me just being like, God, you're terrible at building. I know, archer. I know. And so we'll place a notch right here. A notch right there, I think. Yeah, that looks about right. And then we'll cross over with the logs. There we go. That gave us our three logs. And then the way I want this to happen is that we're going to take this up a little bit on each side. Then what we're going to do is we're going to cap it. And I think this will look good. So we give this like a, a layer right there that kind of steeps on out, but not entirely. And I've run out of bricks again. You know, I farm up so many bricks, and then I go through them so rapidly with these little projects. It's funny how you utilize materials like that, though. And so that'll be right there. We will drag this across like so. Yeah, that looks about right. That's going to go like that. Uh, this over here needs to come up to meet. We'll go like so. And let's jump down to the tree real fast, and we're going to have a look at what this looks like from the front very quickly. And see if it's giving the desired effect. It is. I'm glad to say that it absolutely is giving the desired effect that I wanted. What we'll do is we'll accent this a little bit with some torches too. I think what I might do is I'll take the corners off right there to round it out and make it look a little bit better. Because we are using a lot of rounding on this building. I'm a bit of a rounder myself if I do say so. I do have that history with the ladies. Alright, let's bring this up to the top. Boom, boom, boom. And I'm going to use this block as a stepping stone, but I'll replace it right now just to make sure that I do so. There we go. Take that corner off. 
take that corner off, and now it's going to look a lot more rounded out. And then I'll probably place a torch back up in here to make the layering apparent. I'll hide a torch in there so that it looks good. And then other than that, I think that just about puts us where we want to be with regards to starting the hay roof. I think, hey roof, don't look so sad, don't know how to start you, it's gonna be messy. Okay. Did I get that laid out on that side too? I did not, shit. Okay, so let's go do that very quickly. I think I've got like a, yeah. I think I've got blocks running this way, like so on this side, although they do look a little bit higher. I think it's just the shadowing that's given that effect, though. It's funny how lighting can play a trick on your eye. And that's very, very true. I had a tattoo done one time where, like, we kept looking at it, and the tattoo artist is like, I could tell you what's wrong with it. You want me to tell you what's wrong with it right now? And I was like, what's wrong with it? And he's like, the issue is not actually the symmetrical nature of the tattoo itself. He's like, if you look at it, your other tattoo is placed in a way where it's symmetrical to your wrist, but your wrist is getting wider as it goes down. And so the new tattoo on your forearm looks like it's asymmetrical, even though it's lined up perfectly due to the fact that, unfortunately, what you've got going on here is just a difference of perspective. And I was like, oh my god, that's incredible. And so what we're going to do now is we're actually going to put in a hay roof right here. And once the hay is all out of the way, we're actually going to go like so. And I'm hoping this ends up looking okay, because we've got the rib structure in the center. But we still want it to maintain, like, that medieval church character, where this is, like, something we've thrown together just for, like, worship and whatnot. And then it's going to need a little bit of an overhang. And if I have to draw it up in the center a little higher... It's not going to matter because nobody's ever going to see that ribbed look in the middle anyways. But I'm very, very bad with roofs. For somebody that used to be a roofer, like seriously, I'm really bad at doing roofs on buildings. And I do think I am going to have to draw it up a little bit higher if we want this thing to be like the shiz diggity dopeness. I do think that that's going to have to be a thing. And I don't think that's going to fit right there. So we'll have to do this a little bit more craftily, I think. This will draw out, though, and as long as it tapers towards the ground well enough, I don't think it's going to matter. Yeah, we'll throw this up right here. Just to give it that aspect of a little bit more roof. I feel like I'm doing that like, oh shit, son. I just fell off into a zombie field. My bad. Didn't mean to fall off into a zombie field. I feel like I'm doing the Corrales thing right now where all we really do is like build for an entire episode. But you know what? If you guys are still here on this series, I'm pretty sure that's what you're here for anyways. Because there's not a whole lot of things we can do to add like new content to the game anyways. Aside from berry farmers. Which we are going to get in this episode, by the way. We will get berry farmers by the end of this one. Just not right now. I could step that down like that. That might look good. I do think that the layering though is going to have to be like readily apparent by the time we get it done. I've got so much straw like sitting around inside my inventory that I don't think it's going to matter anyways. And so there it is. There's I fell off the roof right here, huh? That's how it's going to be. It's how it's going to be. I guess they're going to see because I'm growing all the trees. Chilling in my colony. All right, so we got that right there. I'm going to build backwards from now on just to make sure I don't fall off the roof again. Nope, you are not what I wanted. Not what I wanted. And so from here, this is going to get a little bit odd because there's going to be a three space on both sides where before I can taper this off and drop it on the other side so that it looks like it has an overhang. And I can virtually guarantee you this is going to look shitty because it wasn't designed with the roof in mind. And so we're going to kind of have to play the field as it lies for the next little bit to fix this and make it look nice. But I'm okay with that. Did that have a three bar on one side and a two bar on the other? Oh, shit on me. Okay. That's what I done did wrong. Let me pull this on back. It's okay. It'll work out. It's an easy fix. Not a fix that we got to dedicate a lot of our time to. And I think that should give me the three bar that I wanted on this side. Although this laid out area is going to look a little bit strange. 
I'll decide what I want to taper out and what I want to make look nicer as we get further in. So we've got the three on each side and we've still got the gap here. That's okay. That's perfectly fine and okay. Because what we're going to do, I think, is give the impression that it's just been covered up maybe. And obviously we don't want it to flow through like that. We do want to have the overhang on one side, although we might take a chip off right there just to make it look a little bit yeah, more reasonable. And then we'll have a look at it from the outside and kind of just see what's up and see what adjustments need to be made. I mean, in all honesty, there is a pretty good chance that no one will actually see the roof unless they're looking at it from a very odd angle. Yeah, it's getting there. It's got a bit of a flat problem. We also have something that's not symmetrical right there. And I can't reach it. Damn it. Leaves, be my guide. Take me higher, leaves. Take me so higher, leaves. Ooh. Doo -doo 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 -doo. All right, so the leaves have taken me higher here. Take that. And so that is now... God, what did I do on that side? I'm not entirely sure what I did right there at all. It still looks okay. I think it's just the uh, the wall design right there that's causing an issue for us. So I've decided the problem is not even necessarily the straw. I'm thinking it's not going to... I've fiddled around with it for a couple of minutes. Just seeing if I can get it to look right. I think this building's going to look better if we go with the stone roof. I don't think the straw is going to work aesthetically, especially considering it's not something anybody's going to see. And it goes along with like the brick building castle aesthetic that we've been doing from the beginning anyways. And so what I will more than likely do is actually, I think in this case, simplicity is actually better. Sometimes you can overcomplicate a construction. And I'm thinking this is actually, in the long term, going to look much better since nobody's going to see the roof anyways. Nobody's ever going to be up here, and so really the only thing we want to do is finish the functional design of the building. And then, with what we've got going on over here, I'm going to jump onto this little pedestal. And I need to look and fix this backboard right here. This back plate of the church is not symmetrical for a minute. And I think that's largely because what I did in the beginning is I made this one, two, three, four, five. Actually, no, it can be symmetrical. It's just that I've done it wrong. i got to run that line a little bit differently down the center up on the top. And I think that may be a result of the fact that the building is not actually symmetrical. I've just put a bunch of facades in place to make it look like it's symmetrical because it was easier than fixing everything that was wrong. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to remove this entire stack right here. And then... We'll replace all these bricks real fast, like the flat design, like I said. There we go. That should fix it on up. We've got two running up right here. So that should be one, two, three, four. Ah, I see what I did wrong. I connected something wrong at the very beginning with the foundation of the building, I think. Yeah, because there is... Well, maybe not. I don't know. What did I do on one side that I did not do on the other? So it looks like actively, I think I went forward with that brick when I should have gone backwards. No, that's still there. Interesting. I think it just lined up funny. I think it's just lined up funny, and it's all the way down in the foundation is the thing that I did wrong. And so what we'll do is we'll just conceal that. It'll be obvious to anybody that looks longer at it, but... Eh, I don't think anybody's going to look longer at it. And then what we'll do to give the impression that it's, like, crowned almost, because this is supposed to be a place of, like, divinity, you know, of royal dictation. Uh, we're actually going to crown this little center right here so that it still gives the impression of some kind of block moving, but we're not going to fill it in because I don't have the materials for that. So you know what? Cheap construction ho! It's like the McMansion of churches. Although this much brickwork would cost a fortune in real life. Like, holy shit, dude. Like, you got to be rolling in some serious cash to be doing brickwork like this. No lie. I haven't done brickwork. I've done concrete work. 
That's the fun part about being a contractor or working for a contractor is that you end up dipping your wick in a whole bunch of different crafting styles. And you end up doing a lot of stuff that you otherwise might not have ended up doing. Don't like concrete. Concrete can eat my ass. It's a terrible business. It's not fun to do. It's hot and unpleasant. And so there, it is going to look a little off from the backside. But we just won't look at the butt. We just won't look at the butt. Actually, it doesn't look too badly off, all things considered. It doesn't look too badly off at all. Uh, the center little area looks a little bit strange. But I think we might be able to fix that by putting a tower in the center. Um, it may make the proportions of the building seem slightly off in the long term. But for right now, I am actually not that upset about what we've accomplished here. It took a lot of effort, but I've managed to fix what's going on. And by no means is this building done. But it looks decent from the outside for right now. I do think we should put those torches in just to make it bop a little bit harder. Just to make it like blend. And so what we'll do is we'll start getting the torches placed. So. Oh, one of those was my facade. I'm sorry. One of those was to make it look right even though it's wrong. There we go. Looking much better. I do wish there was an indentation right here, but I can't do anything about that. So we'll go torches right there. And so that gets the first level of layering nice and laid out. With the second level, yes, that's right. We'll play with hay right next to a burning fire source. Because that's always a good plan. Uh, the second part is going to be largely from the torches that we can seal on each side right here. And so then, once we go back down, carefully avoiding the zombies and the nomming jaws of death that will more than likely be coming at us. Yeah, that's pretty much precisely effect that I wanted to get right there. That's about right. And then... We can get the shading banged out on each side like so. That will give us a very nice at-night feeling of layering and also that things have moved around. We may also be able to put a torch in the foreground on that front little shield right there to make it stand out. But I'm happy with it so far. In fact, hey, back up off me, zombie. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Back up off me. I'm too clean. I'm too holy, son. I just built a church. Have you no respect? Have you no respect for zombie god? There's also an accuracy right there as well. Yep. I've built one of the towers too close, but that's okay. I didn't notice until I really looked at it for a long time because the effect is maintained regardless. Like one is slightly further backwards. You can see it if you look at it for longer, but meh. No problem. Let's go see how many gold coins they made for us today. They made a bunch of gold coins. I think I'm going to be pretty happy with getting some berry farmers up and running. Getting them berry farmers trucking. So how many coins do I have? I've got like... Four coins? How is that possible? How have we only minted four coins? What have you guys been doing with the money I've been sending your way? Jesus. You should definitely have more coins than that. I think by like a long margin we should have more coins than that. Maybe it's because he's been buying berry seeds. Ah, it is. It's because he's been buying berry seeds. Oh good, our berry farmers might have actually started working today. Let's go have a look. Berry Farmers, what have you been up to over here? I know you've been up to something. Let's go have a nice little look. Oh, the Berry Farmers that started farming them berries. Look at these cats over here doing what they're supposed to, earning food for the Commonwealth. All right, well, let's get them some storage crates then. They've earned it. I need planks for storage crates, so I will go ahead and make a few more of those. We'll throw those into my inventory, and I'm just going to make a bunch of decorative crates for right now to make it look like something's going on over here. We'll kind of just distribute these randomly over here like a doom level. Put another one. Nope, that's not where I want you. I want you on top, like right here. So that it looks like we've got like a storage crate sprawl on that side. And then with the... Oh my god. Yeah, I need to tear the whole top off of that building and start over from scratch. My problem is that everything I build is awesome, but it's always one block off. I'm not even shitting you. Every single time, it will be one block off. Every time. That's just like when I build stuff, for whatever reason, I always build it one block off. And so it's like, what you gonna do? Another, I guess, six by six over here for another berry farmer. And as far as these berries go, how does that look? Like if I, let's say I jump up into here, do I get the berries or do I get the sprout back? Oh, now I feel guilty because I just killed this guy's sprout. Quick, put it back. He won't notice. He won't notice what we've done. It's fine. And so our berry farming is actually pretty well actively done. Uh, down below the surface, I have been working on other projects as well in my free time. 
Namely, hollowing out another area for everybody or for everyone to sleep. Uh, so yeah, what happened on this side, if you wanted to see, if you look, it's actually stepping downwards on this side. So up, down, down, down. On this side, um, we've missed a step right here. But I don't think that's going to be really fixable. So, given the fact that the general... It looks the same from both sides from a front perspective. Um, I could fix it by going out another one on this side and running it down and just replacing this entire wall. Meh. It's only really obvious if you look at it for a long time, so... Not going to stress about it. Not going to stress about it. It looks fine from the front, and that's the only way anybody's ever going to see it anyways. Uh, the big thing we want to get done here now is tearing out all this grass so that it'll look good. Because I'm thinking about actually doing brickwork inside. Having them cook bricks and make it work that way. I think it'll be pretty awesome. I don't know. Let me get this torn out. And like that, it's done. We actually got the flooring all torn out. So I think that's going to be pretty sweet once we get it all nice and nailed in. I don't know what the shit that is right there. That's probably one of the sources of like all of my woes for the moment. It's probably a support structure that like needed to be there in order for it to look okay. But as of right now, God, this place is a mess. That facade, like the work that I did to make it symmetrical, basically all fell backwards in on the inside. That's okay. Sometimes stuff got messed up in medieval times. So what we'll do is we'll check the, uh, yeah, the room's definitely not going to be symmetrical. It looks like it's just, the whole problem is that right there. You see how there's one on this side, two on this side? I think that's what I did is I just placed it wrong when I was first starting. And that simple mistake right there is going to make a mess of your entire project. So we will have this drawback to here. Uh, the goal was to have it do something like this. There we are. It's going to look a little off, but we're going to have to live with it. And then on this side, I was going to do something like so. Oops, that's not the one that I wanted. Brick, why are you going in the wrong spot like that? Why you got to mess with me, Brick? Why you got to make my life difficult? There we go. And so that's taken care of. Uh, the only other thing we need right now is we need to go in and get some brick cooking done. And so I'll probably turn on brick cooking for a little while. I can still complete this mostly on this side. I think that'll work, but I can't... Eh, I mean, with the other pillar in the way, it is what it is. Maybe we'll go two in like that, just to make it look a tiny bit nicer. We still have grass in the floors on this. Oh, that's not what I wanted, but hey. Knocked it out, made it work. It's fine. All right, so that's going across right there. And so as you walk into the church, the rest of this is going to be red brick in here, I think. And I think that'll look pretty nice, actually. It'll give it a nice feeling. Uh, in addition, we've got some weird shenanigans happening right there that I don't entirely understand. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's ultimately the main thing, is that one little misstep right there has made... God, it's made so many things look funny. It's made so many things look funny in this church. It's alright, like I can fix it from the inside by putting another layer in right there. There's also a hole in the ceiling that I forgot to fill. Probably for that facade that I was talking about. Damn! Dude, my building strategy is really kind of poor right now. My Minecraft skills have not developed since I stopped playing the game. They have not developed at all. My development strategy is basically build something broke and then hustle to try and fix it. Because it's the only way, Kyle. Go like that right there. Alright. And then what I'll have to do is I'll have to drag this across. Like a dessau. And then I ran out of bricks again. I'm sure there will be zombies committing sacrilege and running up inside of my shit any moment now. Just to make my life... Yep, there he is right there. And then I died. And then I died horribly and I lost all my stuff too. Doesn't clear out my whole inventory, does it? Because I didn't really have that many useful things in my inventory anyways. 
can I loot myself if I died over here? Is my body going to be over here on the floor? Or, like, how does that work? We may have to put some castle guards over here to protect this shit. Uh, actually, no, you just lose everything in your inventory. Okay. Well, that cleared it out fair. Oh, we have berries, and they are not poisonous. That's what the game wants us to know. They are absolutely not poisonous. Fill that in, and then the way that we're going to fix this. Actually, that looks like it did. Damn it, zombies! Why can't you leave me alone? Why can't you? Just get out of here! Get out of here, zombies! Get out of here! All right, so the zombies are patrolling this little area. We'll lead them out to the front, and I'll see you in the morning so we can finish this thing off and actually, like, do a project on this channel. Yeah? Morning time is here! And I added a backboard. I added a backboard to the church, although it's looking kind of churchish right now, isn't it? It's looking a little churchish. I felt like it needed another layer, so I added that little backboard right there. I may add some kind of structure to it or something, but haven't really decided yet, in all fairness. I could have bricks run up the center, I guess. That might work. Let's have a look at it. I mean, it's a building episode, right? We got berries grown. We did, like, a building episode. People like building episodes, right? I mean, I know lots of Minecraft YouTubers that have... A career from building stuff so that's kind of cool and if I take that up to there dude I really wish there was stairs in this game so that like you could actually edge out some of the art if you really needed to hmm it needs something it needs something and that's something I think is a religious icon really remind people who ordained me as their king and so that should be up as four I think I'm gonna need flight for this one well let me see if I got anywhere near the mark with this I'm trying not to fall to my death right now my flight hack doesn't seem to be working I put in the set flight true but it doesn't seem to want to like let me have anything so you know what it's cool this is one of those things that would just be like easier to build It's actually just going to have to be a little bit taller, in all fairness. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work the way that I... We'll, we'll, worry about, we'll worry about icons later. It doesn't matter. Let's take this thing down real fast. Maybe we'll set some torches on the front of this thing instead of doing it this weird convoluted way. There we go. And obviously this needs to go right here because it's in the way. I think that takes us down properly. I enjoy a nice takedown. There we go. Kill off a couple of those and then presumably leap to my death. Yep. Doesn't matter. I got plenty of supplies. That was a waste of time. Let's never do that again. That was the worst. We should all feel bad about it, but most especially me. I'm actually pretty happy with it. I feel like it came together pretty well. Uh, once we get the inside laid out, not bad for a first attempt at a church, having not built anything in Minecraft in probably years and years and years. I do think we're going to have to work on the roof a little bit and bring it up ever so slightly. Or at least give it the impression of coming up ever so slightly. Like maybe by like two blocks maybe. So two wood blocks and then a capstone. And then that goes all the way around the backside just to sort of make it look a little bit less front heavy. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with it. I... You know, we could have done worse. We could have done better. I'm happy with the way that it went, though. I don't have any complaints about it. I think it looks pretty good. I might take those blocks off the front just because I think it rounds it out maybe a little bit too much. But for right now, hey, ain't no complaints like the complaints that Splatter Cat's got. Uh, inside of our workshop, where do we make the bricks at? Are they inside of here or are they inside of this thing? They got to be inside this thing right here. Yeah, make me, like, I don't know, infinite bricks or something. Or, like, maybe just, like, 100 bricks. 125 should cover it. I don't think I'm going to need more than that. Can I change the priority on these? No. Okay, well, then you guys go back down to zero for right now. And then we shall concern ourselves with further problems. Uh, this is Colony Survival. My name is Splattercat. In this episode, we built ourselves a super awesome cathedral over here that's getting towards done. The front end is finished off. We now just need to finish off the back end so that it doesn't look like a slug with a helmet on. Other than that, I will see you all in the next episode. Thank you for stopping on in. If you still like the series, remember, leave those likes and leave those comments. That's how I decide whether or not I keep something going or not here on the channel. Berry farmers are berry farming. We've got food for days. See y'all later. Bye, everybody.